Hey guys, in this video, you are going to be watching me compete in the last solo cash cup of this year. That's right, this will be the last solo cash cup that I play before the end of this season and for the rest of the year. So hopefully this one will be a banger. Before we hop into this video, guys, I just want to let you know that this is me trying a new style of content. So if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into our first games. So I'm not going to lie, guys, we did not start this tournament off hot. I managed to die really quickly in my first, second, and third game. So needless to say, I was not happy. Dude, I'm gonna kill somebody. Since there are only a total of seven games in this format, I knew that I had to start locking in. And this is how game four went. Do you want to fight? Like, you want to fight? After that solid comeback game, we are sitting at 52 points, which considering that last week's qualification was only 64 points, means we should have a pretty easy path to qualifying, right? Well, keep watching to see how that goes. Why would you ever come that? I dropped my shotgun. 
I dropped my shotgun, bro. I shot. I dropped my shotgun, bro. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty embarrassing. Not quite sure what I was doing there because I did have the wall, even though I got sandwiched, but I was panicking and trying to break out. Probably could have survived this pretty easily if I just slowed down and not panicked, but you know, we still have two games left to get around 10 points, so we just go next. So as I'm going for my cash, as you see, another player actually is sliding and gets to my cash first, which is okay because I'm willing to fight for it. It's second like last game, you know, I'm willing to fight for it all. It's my cash, I'm fighting for it. But look at how long this fight actually lasts. Eventually, I made the mistake of going for the island, which does give you 15 points, so it gets heavily contested, and I ended up getting sandwiched and going out. Unfortunately, guys, there's not much to show of Game 7, because not only did my OBS stop recording in the middle of it, but I got zero kills, and this is how I ended up going out. Alright guys, that is unfortunately going to be a wrap on this video because although I did qualify for the finals, I did not do good at all. In fact, this is what my match history looked like. Although I didn't perform well in the finals, I am rather satisfied with my performance in the opens because this has been my first tournament in a, quite, the, quite the time and the point of all this video uploading is for me to get back into like Fortnite competitive and get a lot better at this game. So hopefully in the future there will be more tournaments that I can record and Maybe, maybe just some new videos that'll, that'll be more entertaining. Anyways, I appreciate everybody for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.